Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the BFS Fishing Channel. And in this video, we're gonna try to make it a five minute video about this reel right here. This is the new Thorns Line Sembo Air and we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna take a closer look really quick. All right, so this reel came in at around $35 US on AliExpress and the big claim to fame is that it is 117 grams. So let's go ahead and unbox it, take a look at the specs Actually, let's look at the specs first. All right, so what we've got is the model name. It's the 117 Air. It is a gear ratio of 7.8 to one, drag strength of around four kilograms, 11 plus one ball bearings. Their CMPT is about 68, which I don't think that's true, but we'll calculate that later. They're saying that you can get about 115 meters of 0.6 go, 95 meters of 0.8 go, and 75 meters of one go line. Okay, so this came fairly quickly for me. I know that there's a few other members on the uh, BFS Budget Finesse group that picked this up. Would you look at that holographic title or name? And uh, let's go ahead and look at this. I've actually already opened this up once. It came like this. I don't know exactly what these tags are, maybe anti-theft, but uh, mine was pre-cut, which is kind of odd. So here is the reel itself. Let's take a look at the contents of the box. You get a nice little, I'm assuming that's a warranty card. You get a diagram and then you get some instructions on how to use reels which we don't care about we get a diagram of the reel and it shows what it looked like in both right and left hand retrieve which is kind of nice the fact that it's all in chinese doesn't really matter we just need to see where all the parts go and you can use like google image translate to translate all of these uh, chinese terms but anyways we're gonna put that aside so it's nice to see that they're including that in the uh, in the box because a lot of cheaper reels nowadays actually don't do that. Okay, so we've gone over all of the specs. Let me show you what this sounds like. So one of the big questions is, does it have a drag clicker? And the answer is, yes, it does. But here's what it sounds like. And I'll bring it closer to the mic. So it's a very, very rough drag clicker. And it does kind of have a tendency to grab at times. So I'm wondering if you could grease the drag washer and also kind of tweak the uh, the spring that's in there that's making that uh, clicking sound. But here are some of the other sounds. Here's the star drag. And I'll bring it closer to Mike. And here's the spool tension. The spool tension feels very, very cheap. I mean, it like it has play to the spool tension knob itself. And then go ahead and do a free spool test which is not very long not very long at all and then here is the brake dial itself and this goes all the way from you know min all the way to max and then here's the free spool at max very strong brakes so that's good the way that this side plate comes off is like so this is a completely removable side plate it does use mag tracks brakes which is nice and here's what the spool looks like we'll get a weight on everything here's the spool this is with the bearing on and the weight comes in at around 4.83 grams and then we'll go ahead and get an all up weight by the way this does use stainless steel ball bearings throughout i don't know that they're nmb the reel itself weighs 116.32 grams so they're coming in under their spec so that's pretty awesome the pros of this reel are that it is very, very affordable, but it does have kind of a few cons. I've noticed that there's a lot of play or slop in the handle shaft in both the along the uh, main gear shaft axis and then also kind of on a left to right axis. The AR bearing feels very sloppy. I mean, it does not, it goes back a little bit before it actually stops. The handle knobs themselves have a little bit of slop in them as well. The star drag is, it's kind of a muted sound. It feels a little sloppy, but this spool tension knob just feels really bad. I mean, I don't think you're gonna be getting fine uh, adjustments out of that. The brake dial feels okay, decent clickiness. And then just to show you what the frame material is made out of, this is actually, and this is the first time I've seen anything like this. This is a glass filled nylon material. And so, you will feel a little bit of flex in this reel when you're using it. And they don't also give you another stabilizer bar inside. There's just the one there. So 
it does, it's not going to feel as sturdy as, say, a, uh, a frame that's using carbon fiber. But anyways, this is the Thorns Line Sembo Air 117. What do you guys think about it? Are you guys interested to see me get some use out of this? Uh, most likely, if I do, it's not going to be for a while. I'm really backed up on videos. But anyways, that was the Thorns Line Sembo Air. If you like videos like this, consider giving a thumbs up. If you didn't, consider giving a thumbs down. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.